morning students in previous video we discussed uh, so at the sixth problem was completed now seventh problem continue two dice are thrown simultaneously find the probability of getting a doublet a doublet of even number and even number as the same as the sum the sum as the prime number multiple of 3 as the sum and a multiple of 2 on one dice and a multiple of 3 on the other okay students if two dice are thrown simultaneously how many or total number of outcomes equal to 6 into 6 nothing but 36 friends so we can express here only observe carefully all of you so problem number 7 two dice are two dice are thrown simultaneously thrown simultaneously two dice are thrown simultaneously total number of total number of possible outcomes 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 we are taken in office nothing but 36 students 36 is it or not right here what he asked observe the questions a double so first we do refer students aside or we can take here also no cover out of exactly at middle so one two three four five also six and here also take one two three four five and also six students right take one one just a one two one three one four one five and also one six right next two one so two one two 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 three two four like the students same here as one 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 two one three one four one five one six so two one two 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 three and also two four two five two six next here also three one three two three 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 four three five and also three six next chair four one four two four three four 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 five next four six and here five one five two five three five four five 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 six and here six one six two six three six four and six five six six friends if two dice so two dice total number of outcomes like this expressed here this is very very important students either ninth or the tenth class students exam point of will learn carefully student right here first problem i can express here students observe carefully problem number one what yours okay so probability of an event equal to probability of an event equal to yes number of favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes total number of possible outcomes okay so here n of s equal to 36 so that means total number of possible expression is completed then we have taken only favorable outcomes what they given according to the problem students okay so observe carefully all of you right here what he asked first one a doublet a doublet so first one problem number one probability of doublet probability of doublet doublet means both numbers are equal that numbers is called as doublet here observe one one both numbers are equal two two three three four four five five six six whatever it may be so these cross threads these vertically so these are okay so observe just one of one these are doublets so how many are them one two three four five six 
so favorable outcomes equal to 6 total number of outcomes equal to 36 okay strike it off what you get finally 1 by 6 1 by 6 is the solution okay next to second one students observe second problem okay. probability of a doublet of even number a doublet of even number a doublet of a doublet of even number a doublet of even number equal to yes in that in the doublets which are which are the even number so two even numbers is it or not but three three is not even numbers or odd numbers only that is here two two four four six six these are the doublet of an even numbers okay so how many of them one two three so here favorable outcomes equal to three total number of outcomes equal to 36 so strike off what you get so one by twelve one by twelve is the solution students right go for third one what here structure an even number as the same as the sum an even number as the sum and even number friends so if you adding both numbers you can get even numbers so observe first carefully 1 plus 1 how much students 1 plus 1 2 so here 1 plus 2 3 so it is not a even number 2 plus 1 also is not a even number so like this so these are and again these are 1 plus 3 4 2 plus 2 4 3 plus 1 also 4 so here what he has analyze the problem an even number as the sum if both numbers as summation then we can get a even number so here observe here these are also spreads and again here these are also and again here next to five so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 is the favorable outcomes. So 18. Probability of an even as the sum. Even number as the sum. Equal to 18 by 36. 18 by 36. Right up. So it becomes uh, 1 by 2. 18 to 0, 36 friends. That is the solution of up to third problem students. Okay. Next, uh, fourth one students. What he has observed carefully. Fourth one. What he has the sum as a prime number. The sum, the sum as a prime number. Okay, here observe carefully. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 is a prime number or not? So prime number, okay. First we are write down to it. Probability of the sum as a prime number, the sum as a prime number, the sum as a prime number equal to. Next one students here. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 is a prime number or not? Yes. Here 2 plus 1 also prime number. So we are taking like this. This is very easy. Okay. And again, 1 plus 4, 5. So 5 also, it is a prime numbers. This is not. And 7 also a prime number. Like this taken. 8 is not a prime number. Next to 9 also not a prime number. 10 also not a prime number. But 11 is a prime number. 11 is a prime numbers. Okay? By adding both, you can get a number is a prime number or not. So, so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, sorry, 14, 15, 15 only. So that is favorable outcomes equal to 15, total number of outcomes equal to 36. So 3, 5 is 15, 3, 12 is 36. So 5 by 12. 5 by 12. Next comes to 6 problem students. What he has observed carefully. Here no need. Next 5th one students. 
Multiple of three as the sum. Multiple of three as the sum. Okay, here observe carefully. Selecting these students. Very, very important in academic 
clean side students. Okay, so I clean these problem students. All of you, I thought all of you understood. Total number of days equal to 
366. In 366, how many weeks are there? 52 weeks and a 2 days extra. 2 days extra is there, student. 52 weeks, 7 to 14 and 7 to 35, 364 students. 2 days. These 2 days are included like this, I said already in the class explanation. Okay, Sunday and Monday, Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday and Friday, and again Friday and Saturday, next Saturday and Sunday. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 students. Okay, what chaos? Probability of 53 Tuesdays. So, probability of 53 Tuesdays. So, here, which are Tuesdays of the friends? In that is also Tuesday included, in that also included. So, total number of days equal to here 7 taken. Here, 2 Tuesdays are included in 2 chances. That's why 2 by 7 is the final solution. 2 by 7 students. Okay? And comes to non leap year. Total number of days, total number of days equal to 365. In 365, 52 weeks are included and one day extra. So one day extra students. Okay. This one day is so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And Saturday. Is it it done? Okay. Right. Therefore, probability of 53 Tuesdays. Probability of 53 Tuesdays equal to uh, how many? Already 52 is included, adding 1 students. So here, how many chances? Only 1 chance. Total number of outcomes equal to 7. That is, 1 by 7 is the solution. Okay? This is the solution of given 10th problem students. Right? So, this person paper problem circulation was completed. Okay? So, if it is any extra problems in our test book, I explain here about these students. Just observe and watch the video. Page number 320, exercise 13.2 lost problem students. So, already exam problems was completed. Now, I take another, another time, another problem students. So, express the additional problem. Okay, this is also very, very important in two marks side students. Here, a die is thrown twice. A die is thrown, thrown twice means then total number of outcomes equal to 36. You know very well. Right. So, go for solution given equal to solution given equal to. A die is thrown twice. A die is thrown twice. Then total number of outcomes considered as n of s equal to 36. n of s equal to 36. Problem number one, observe strengths. Let A be the let A be the event event of getting Getting, getting, yes, 5 will come up at least once, 5 will come up at least once, 5 will come up, come up at least once, at least one, therefore that is here, observe carefully, oh, okay, here that is n of e equal to, how many times observe friends? 2 dice means we have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Horizontally and also vertically taken. Here 1 comma 5 also there students. Next to 2 comma 5. And also 3 comma 5. Next to 4 comma 5. Here 5 comma 1 and 5 comma 2. 5 comma 3. 5 comma 4. And also 5 comma 5. 5 comma 6. Total how many times subject? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and lastly 6, 5 also there. Okay, 11 times. So here, let A be the event of getting 5 will come up at least once. At least once. Each and every one, any phase, either starting or ending, 5 must be needed here. So that's why here, how many times? 11 times. So, probability of event equal to N of E by N of S n of e by n of s it becomes 11 by total number of outcomes equal to 36 11 by 36 student right next one next what he was 5 will not come up either time 
come up one at least one time not even so probability of even this is not even students not even so probability of not even equal to how can so then that implies here observe carefully probability of derivative will be taken probability of five will not come up five will not come up either time come up either time either time equal okay 1 minus 11 by 36 1 minus 11 by 36 take lcm of denominator 36 36 1 is 36 minus 11 it become 25 by 36 is the solution 25 by 36 is the final solution this is also very very important model friends so practice carefully right this is the last problem of this chapter friends so observe carefully first analyze the problem what they given once okay a bag contains five red balls and some blue balls five red balls and some blue balls friends okay here first one number of red balls number of red balls equal to how much given five students some blue balls so number of blue balls number of blue balls equal to we don't know this value let me consider x students so in two balls only containing a bag students okay therefore total number of balls total number of balls total number of balls equal to okay five plus x right next one If the probability of a drawing a blue ball is a double that of a red ball, that means whose first we find probability of blue ball along with probability of red ball students. Then here one clue is given. What is that? The probability of drawing a blue ball is a double that of a red ball. Double that of a red ball determine the number of blue balls in the bag. Okay. So here of the students probability of so probability of red ball. Probability of red ball equal to how much? Five ball outcomes five. Total number of outcomes five plus x. That is five by five plus x. Okay. Next one. Probability of blue balls. Probability of blue balls equal. To, okay. We are taking the third one. Probability of blue balls equal to here five ball outcomes x students. Five ball outcomes x. Total number of outcomes five plus x. X by 5 plus 6, right? Next one. According to the problem, so probability of blue ball equal to double that of a red ball. So that is here. X by 5 plus 6 equal to double means multiplied by 2. 2 into probability of red balls. That is 5 by 5 plus 6. 5 by 5 plus 6. Okay. On both sides, 5 plus 6, 5 plus 6 get cancelled students. Okay. Then X equal to 2 by 5 by 10. So this is the solution, friends. Then number of blue balls equal to ten. Therefore, number of blue balls, number of blue balls equal to ten students. Okay. So after careful students, so proper chapter also completed. In totally, we have two topics. All are completed, friends. If any pending in previous, uh, what we take on seventh chapter to up to fourteenth uh, chapter. so chapter wise explanations in daily daily video students okay so all of you any doubts in that so send my whatsapp i clarify to your doubts students after school opening i checked in your notebook students don't forget it so what we discussed here main concepts go through in syllabus of a paper too must be entered in your notebook don't forget it i will check your notebooks examination point of view also so once uh, watch the go through video students don't forget it